I'm converting my bike from a cross country bike to be a little more trail orientated. My local trails are really rocky and my carbon wheels are just getting trashed, not to mention my back. So I had this idea to keep one bike, which I prefer, maybe I could build up a second set of wheels. Maybe I could make my existing bike a little better for my local trails. These bars are 100 mil wider than my existing bars. The wheels are 35 mil wide. Of course, the bike needs a good clean before I get started. some hot soapy water and just scrub the hell out of the bike. Does a great job. I actually bought some new grips. But you know these old ones are only dirty. I reckon I can fix them. There's one I cleaned earlier. Just in the sink, some soapy water. Look at that. And the green looks really cool. So I wanted to keep them. So bike in the rack on my veranda at home. And here's my two work companions. So let's strip these old wheels off the bike. And these are great wheels, they're carbon fibre rims. Super lightweight, awesome cross country wheels. I'll definitely be using them again. Here's the new wheels, Fun Phantoms. As I said, 35 mil wide. So designed to take wider tyres, and you can see the tyre here, 29 by 2.8. I hope they fit. I do have boost technology, so wider spacing for the hub. So I'm hoping the tyres will fit. Just lining the valve up with the logo, that always looks really cool. Got a 180 mil front rotor and a 160 rear. So obviously the bigger one goes on the front wheel. As you heard me there, I only added 700 grams with the bigger wheels. I just measured my old bars, they were 700 wide. And these new ones are almost 800 wide. So substantial difference. I also wanted to measure how high my bars are currently, because I did want to go a little bit higher. I think that will help to make the bike a little more trail. Orientated, you can see the riser on the bar here. They're a 30 mil rise. Oops, freshly cleaned.
And after measuring it, I was actually too high, so I had to take a spacer out. Put the spacer on top, and that's how I got my 10 mil extra height with the riser bar. So this NX cassette by SRAM is 12 speed. It goes on an existing Shimano or SRAM free hub body. Really neat idea. I do run SRAM Eagle 12 speed on my bike. Sealant, of course, gone to the day of tubes. Probably poured in about 110, 120 mil of the sealant. Now, without a compressor, this is really hard work getting the tire to seal. As you can see, I'm pumping the hell out of it. I actually had a rest here off camera. But eventually it sealed. I plan to only run these tyres at about 15 psi because they're so wide. I'm thinking I should get another 20 to 30 mil travel out of the tyres themselves, which makes my 100 mil cross country bike feel like it has more travel or more like a trail bike. You can see there's plenty of clearance there in the front with the 2.8 tyre. I didn't even have to adjust my gears, which is cool. Very little clearance, but it does fit. The rear brake was rubbing, so I had to readjust the caliper. And just make sure the handlebars are straight and the headset isn't loose. Brake levers are at the right angle and so forth. Let's get this baby out onto the trails. Instantly I noticed the grip. The big tyres, 15 PSI, just brilliant. Normally when I ride out in the rain after half hour, I'm just beaten up. Not this time. The wide bars felt really awkward when I first took off. But by the end of the ride, which was about an hour and a half, they just felt fantastic. So much more control.
is a really rocky section, and with the big tyres and the wide bars, the bike just glided over the top. Awesome ride. Love this new bike. And of course, you can't do a ride without finishing with a coffee. And that's a wrap.